What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today it is currently snowing ice shelves and it's cold. So we are not fishing. Instead we are in my office and I am going to make a video talking about the top 10 flies I've used this year. I want to take a brief second to mention that I really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. We're almost reaching that 2000 subscriber mark on YouTube, so let's keep pushing. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and let's get right into the flies. Obviously, I have to start with the nymphs because they produced the most amount of fish for me this year, and surprise, surprise, as you've seen probably in my other videos, the killer, the absolute hog killer is the San Juan worm. So, a lot of, uh, a lot of purist fly fishermen don't like using this, but like I mentioned in my previous videos as well, if you're just trying to get fish in the net, this is something you definitely need to tie on. And you know what? I use this San Juan worm because it also acts as a weight. It helps get down in that fast, deep water and brings whatever trailing nymph I have down with it. So I'm also thinking about coming out with a video on how I tie these simple worms. Now they're not hard and it will save you a ton of money so look for that video soon. The next fly I have here worked very well for me in both the spring and the fall. Uh, it would still work around here in the Bow River here in Calgary but uh, it's a little nippy. So we have a little water boatman. It's got a little bead head, some flash to it. It's worked really well for me. I want to talk about a fly I got into this year that I hadn't used very often, but this year I started chronomid fishing and it became very productive. So these little chronomids, little puff on the top, work very well in cold water as well as uh, as well as when you're fishing lakes. Just just on that drop off area, these chronomids work really well. We cannot forget about the stonefly hatch and above all the golden stonefly hatch. So I have a little golden stone right there. This one is very buggy. I mean, from, from the fly shop, it's gonna cost you basically an arm and a leg uh, because to tie them is a huge bitch. Definitely a fly you need to have in your box, catches a lot of trout. And last but not least, before we move on, you definitely need to have some sort of caddis pupa or a little caddis nymph like that. As you can see there, one of my latest videos, I caught a great uh, rainbow with this fish, it was awesome. So those are the uh, nymphs that absolutely crushed for me this year. Let's start moving on to the dry flies. One of my favorite times of year to fish this dry is in the fall. And what we're talking about here is the hopper. So as you guys can see here, this hopper imitation is great in the fall when it's windy and starts blowing those hoppers into the water. It also works as a great indicator for the little hopper dropper as you can see in some of my latest videos hopper dropper fishing is my favorite and amazing time another one of my favorite flies is the caddis now i think this one is called the goddard's caddis but uh it's a little mangled because of how well it actually worked for me come on let's focus there we go so that little goddard caddis is uh very well when they're popping off it's hard to see in water but uh put some glasses on i guess and last but not least anytime you're fishing a small mountain stream i have terrestrials with me so the red ant as always is a great fly to have in your box red ant red beetle very similar thing so how many do we have three all right all right so there's eight now we will do two more of the streamers. So of course, depending on what you're targeting will be the streamer of choice. Now this is, this video is more targeting trout, but with that being said, I did some pike fishing this year and believe it or not, this color variation here, the good old red and yellow absolutely crushed for me pike fishing so we'll put that in our group we cannot forget about the bugger it comes in a ton of different variations and styles but this one here i use on the bow quite often there we go we got some red some yellow these little rubber legs cause a lot of motion in the water gets those aggressive fish after it 
kind of following that little yellow trend. And even though we're at 10 right now, I did a pike fly, so let's throw in one more. Of course, without any doubt, we have to toss in one of the leeches. Now, you can fish it as a streamer, you can fish it dead drift, there's many different ways, but this little red tinsel with the black leech, absolutely deadly on the water. All right guys, I know it was a quick video, but I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and until next time guys, tight lines.